Hello, Mark Calloway here at Mana Machine. Just a very short video today. We're going to have a look at putting sweeps on a wall. And we'll have a look at um, three different types that we can do. Okay, so first of all, we're going to need a wall. So on the architecture tab, I'm going to go to the wall tool. I'm going to duplicate an existing wall to start off with. So I'm going to go into the type settings. I'm going to hit the duplicate button in the top right hand corner. And we'll give it a new name. Let's just call it new wall for this example. Okay, and we're going to have a look at the structure of this wall. So I'm going to cl click the edit button for structure in its types parameters. You're going to want to make sure this preview is turned on on the left hand side. So you've got this little preview button down here which can, can um, maximize or minimize that preview. To start off with, you're probably going to be in a floor plan view. We're going to customize this wall ever so slightly for this example. Maybe we don't want this finish, so I'm going to select that delete that layer on the wall. For the structure of the wall we've got some uh, concrete masonry, 100mm thickness, that'll do. And then we have this thermal air layer, okay, fiberglass. Maybe we'll change that to an airspace, we'll just have a simple brick front, uh, concrete blocks inside and an airspace in between. So I'm going to change the material, scroll to the top of the list of materials here. This is the list of materials that are currently inside this project. I'm going to select air, click OK, and we now have an airspace inside. 75 mils will be fine, we'll go with that. If we want to have a look at putting a sweep onto this wall, you'll find that the sweep button is currently greyed out. That's because we have to be in a section preview. Again, in the preview panel at the bottom, I'm just going to change to a section view. And you'll notice that all these buttons down at the bottom um, are now available for our use. Going to click on sweeps. It's going to open up a new window for wall sweeps. There's currently nothing listed in here, so we're going to add a new line to this table. So I'm going to click the add button. We then need to fill this out. I won't go through every single setting, but first of all, we need to pick a profile uh, for the shape of this sweep. Okay. There's a few preloaded into this project. Uh, maybe we'll put on some sort of soldier course. So I'm going to select this. Profiles Brick Soldier, Brick Soldier Free Courses. Okay, that's going to be the shape and we'll see that appear on this preview in a second. For the material, let's just do a quick search for brick in here. We should have a Brick Soldier material. There we go, we'll go with that. And if I just hit the Apply button, we can see this sweep at the base of the wall. Now, we don't want it to be right down there. Okay. So we can choose the distance from the base. Okay, if we don't want to measure from the base, we can always measure from the top of the wall. Okay, and that'll just move where it's measuring from. But I'm going to put base down there, and maybe it's going to be 500 mils uh, from the base of the wall. Okay, and we can see that sat on the exterior face of the wall there, controlled by the size setting here. You can change the orientation, you can flip the profile if you wish to. Um, you can offset it, so if you don't want it sat inside the wall or you want it sat further inside the wall, you could always give it an offset. Let's just go for something a bit drastic, drastic there. You can see it's going to move that profile. Okay, and I'm just going to set that back to zero. I'm going to go with that for now. Click the OK button to that window. Just bear in mind at this point, nothing's saved. So if you accidentally hit cancel or you, you close this window without saving, you'll lose any settings that you've changed. I'm going to click OK to the Edit Assembly window, OK to the type properties of our new wall, and we've now got a wall that's got a sweep in there. If we just jump into a 3D view and just draw an example of this wall, you can now see that we've got a sweep 500 mils from the base of the wall there. So that's the first method that we have. There's two more, okay? The second one is again on the architecture tab, wall tool. If we expand the wall tool, we have the option for wall sweeps in here as well. Clicking on wall sweeps, we can move our mouse cursor over the wall, left click where we want to place the sweep, and Revit's gonna place a very basic sweep on this wall. We can customize this. You can change the offset from level. Uh, we can change the material. And we can change the profile as well. If I just edit the type, we don't want to go with this particular profile. So let's duplicate that again and we'll call it uh, new wall 
sweep. Okay, we can choose a profile in the properties here. And let's just go with a soldier course again. And we'll produce something similar. Okay, and there's our soldier course. Click OK. And we've got something very similar to what we've just created in the first method. Okay. The advantage with this, though, is because it's not part of the type of the wall, we can customize this a little more. So if we select this new sweep, we've got these little grips on the end. So if it doesn't need to quite go all the way along the wall, we can customize that. For example, above a, a window, uh, maybe a step below a door, lintels, all that sort of stuff we can do using the wall sweep tool uh, from the, the wall command on the architecture tab. Finally, the last method, the third method, is we can model in place. Architecture tab, component button, model in place. Okay, we need to choose a category. I'll just select walls for this example. And we'll just go with the default name. And that's gonna take us into the model in place uh, mode, okay. So we're just going to create a simple extrusion. You're going to want to think about your work planes if you're working in 3D. Okay, so for example, I'm just going to click the set button. I'm going to pick a custom plane. And maybe we'll go with the wall face on the edge here. And if I just click the show button, you can see that we've set the work plane to the edge of the wall there. I'm going to select extrusion. And then we just need to draw the profile for this extrusion. Again, we'll do a simple rectangle similar to what we've already got on the wall here. Okay, and then somewhere just above the existing sweeps, I can create my own custom profile. Okay, and we can then change the material on that. Okay, and again, we'll go with soldier course. And we're just going to grab those grips and just make it the width or the length of this wall here. And once we're happy with that extrusion, we can click the green finish tick button to confirm the model in place. Okay, and that's our third sweep there. Okay, so we took a very quick look at modifying the structure of the wall and the three different methods for creating sweeps on there. Thank you. Thank you.